you guys. James here from JVC Paints and uh, as a Lebowski Achiever I'm going to be doing something today that uh, I've had in my the back of my mind for quite a while um, and what that is is I want to see if I can get a, a 10 guys done uh, in one sitting uh, and to see how long it takes. Um, I've, I've given myself the day here um, but I want to get these guys from primed and ready to go to uh, totally awesome and varnished and everything else and ready to hit the table. So this is a bit of a challenge. I got some time today, so I figured, okay, today's a good day. It's kind of pissy rain outside. So, um, you know, give it a try. So what I'm doing today is I am doing, and thank you very much, it was packed by Mir Mirella S. Mirella S. from Warlord Games. I am doing the Luftwaffe Field Division. And let me oh, knock that guy over. Um, so... Uh, this is, I'm going to be using this sort of as a guide on how to paint them. I'm not really going to get online and do any reference. I mean, I already know about the camo and everything else. So, but basically these guys, uh, as you can see from that picture, the, these are them. I've tarted up the bases a little bit. Uh, the NCO, I've given them half a jerry can in front of them, put some bricks and stuff. I know it's very difficult to see. Here's the loader. He's got an I-beam that he's kind of hunkering down behind. This guy's got a, a gas can and a bucket on their bases. But uh, we've got 10 guys here. They would be inexperienced, so that's 70 points. They have an MM, an LMG, which is another 20, so that puts them at 90. Um, there are two Panzerfausts in the group, so that puts them at 100. And I've got three uh, guys with MPs, uh, MP40s, one, two, and three. So that would put them at 109 points of inexperienced guys. But they can kick out a lot of firepower, which is great because there's a lot of rifles. And I got three tough fighters. So, anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna just basically take photos of, of my progress, and then maybe at the end I'll, I'll put a little bit of video on there. But that's about it. So this is gonna be this and some shots, some background music, and uh, hopefully I can get it all done today. Let's see. <laughs> Here they are, the Luftwaffe Field Division, all finished, based, varnished. Um, it's, as you can see by the light, it's actually tomorrow. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, I'll count it as a win. Uh, anyway, um, so I've, I've finished these guys with the basing. I'll go through the basing. I'm going to go break them up into parts here. So I'm going to start over here with the uh, LMG team. I'm just going to move everybody else sort of out of the way and sort of concentrate them on group by group, I guess. So the LMG team, so the, the idea with the basing here, well, let's... Get back to the LMG, sorry. The LMG is called an MG08, and uh, according to the box, and I looked it up and it was given to these units. Um, it's got a double drum cl clip there. You can see on the loader, he's got an extra uh, one there. Um, so the basing with these guys, uh, what I did is I was kind of going for a sort of a half ruined, fought over industrial landscape. So there's bricks, there's burnt up wood, but there's also some weeds and stuff that have been growing maybe over the past uh, couple of days or weeks, depending on the weather. Um, so this is the machine, the LMG in the in the uh, the loader, um, and well, you can just make it out that I've done the national shields and things like that on the helmets. But we'll we'll take a look at some other guys. Let me move that across. Sorry, I'm get my hand in the way here. Let's take a look at the Faust guys. So here are the two Faust men. 
Uh, you can see the, the National Shield really easily on this guy. Um, and we've got his counterpart here uh, wearing the camo. The camo, I didn't go for the, with the same kind of camo uh, as I did with my Falschmager putting on the stripes on there. Um, so I just sort of, I went a little bit cheesier, not cheesier, but a little bit easier, I should say. Um, just just doing sort of the, the, the colors. Um, it really pops, you know, when you see it face to face. Uh, unfortunately, the video here with the lights and stuff, I'm not the greatest videographer. I'm sure a lot of you have been able to tell. But uh, we'll move those guys over out of the way. And then we've got what we I like to call, you know, the first three casualties. So here they are. Um, we've got the guy with the field cap. Let me pan out here so it focuses a bit better. Um, you can see the Nationalist shield on this guy here and then the, the crests and all that stuff. So yeah, same idea with the um, the basing and things like that. Um, and uh, again, just the, the camo. Oh, my camera's getting a bit shaky here. I'll show you. The, I think you can see the eagle a little bit better on these out here, this guy and on this guy. So yeah, just a little small things. You know, I didn't want to go overboard. But yeah, this guy, he's got... Uh, the uh, a little gas can, that he, and this guy, he's got a, an old bucket that's been around. The bricks, if you're wondering about the bricks, the bricks are this. Um, this is two millimeters by two millimeter um, plastic sprue. I don't know, plastic, uh, oh, I was gonna call it a <laughs> plastic four by four, but it's not. Um, but anyways, it was from Tamiya, I bought it at the hobby shop. I cut it into like, you know, like half centimeter, like so, what, like a quarter of an inch? No, not even that, an eighth of an inch maybe. Um, and uh, and then I just sanded them down and I made a whole pi pile of them and then I just glued the bricks on sort of one by one as I was going through and uh, doing my basing and we've got the last group here let's check this out we've got Yencio um, and the other SM machine gun guy and uh, the guy with the field cap so let me let me move these guys completely out of the way I'll take a look at these guys so the NCO yeah same thing with the base I mean the camo everything's basically the same what I said um, but the base on this one, I, I took a Tamiya a jerry can and I didn't glue it together, and I sort of just like, pounded it into the into the sand there. Uh, I kind of covered up the big mistake, as you can see. If you're a gamer, you know what these things are. But uh, there you've got the national shield, and uh, we'll just take a take a look at the back here. Um, and then uh, the camo on this guy actually turned out really well. Um, and the guys are crouching; it didn't. It just it looks a little bit muddled. And then we've got the, the Luftwaffe eagle on the side. And then this guy too, his, his camo turned out really well because it's, it's just so open and you can actually make it out. The guys, like I said, the guys that are crouching and doing that kind of stuff, it kind of looks a little bit messy. But uh, on these guys it looks okay, I think. Um, and he's going to whip that grenade into, I don't know, a big pile of Soviets or something. And then finally we got this guy here. So um, this is them. So uh, yeah, it took me a day. I'm pretty pleased with the results. I think they look great. Uh, I gave them two coats of varnish, um, and uh, they're going to be ready to go. I don't know when I'll ever play them. Uh, I do have those other projects on the go, the, my SS Army and the Lands Connect, um, and they're basically almost finished, uh, the SS guys. I think i got about four more to paint, and uh, the Lands Connects, I've got about eight for what I have, um, and uh, then we're going to have to buy more. But, uh, yeah, so this is sort of for a third project, which would be, uh, a sort of fall of Berlin, sort of uh, late 44, early 45 uh, thing that I'm doing. So, uh, but yeah, they're done. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope everybody's having a great one out there. Uh, the weather here is kind of crappy, but, uh, you know, I got these miniatures done, so I'm, I'm happy about that. So you guys keep those brushes moving, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Um, yeah, keep those videos coming out. I have been watching the computer. I've been still having issues with it. I've been Frankensteining it back to life every day. So, all right, guys, you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.